Hold your breath. We're going under. What you're seeing are two lakes in the Lake District. On the left, the pristine waters of Lake Buttermere, with flora and fauna that's 11,000 years old. The murky, weed-filled lake on the right used to look the same. But then, this arrived. This is New Zealand pygmy weed. It's an invasive non-native species, which means it's come from New Zealand and it's found a habitat with no natural predators, no pests, no diseases, no uh, natural forms of control. So it has grown uh, to an extreme degree. Pygmy weed was sold for use in domestic ponds, but it's spread and it's so invasive it's now banned in the UK. It's killed nine native plant species already, and once it's taken hold, it's almost impossible to get rid of. It's depriving a lot of native animals of their natural habitat. And in the context of climate change, when things aren't looking rosy for nature, this is all something else that's causing a problem. That's why campaigners are trying to stop the weed spreading further into the handful of pristine lakes left in England. We're now in about six, seven foot of water at the moment. So you can see right down to the bottom. And you shouldn't expect to see any weed, so nothing nasty. Sarah Barnes is an experienced outdoor swimmer, but even a beginner like me can see these waters are special. We have the privilege now of swimming in this pristine lake and you mm. want to be able to keep it like that, you know, for generations, don't you? Well, exactly, yeah. You know, our children's children and visitors in the future, because this is one of the reasons people come here, because it is, it's so beautiful. But its beauty is its downfall, because it's people who are inadvertently spreading the weed from contaminated lakes to clean ones on their clothes and equipment. This could be the summer of the British staycation, and campaigners want people to come here. They want them to be able to enjoy these pristine, clear waters, but they also want them to be aware, not only of what they're bringing into the lake, but also what they could be taking out. And that means doing three simple things. Clean, check and dry. So clean is when you've been in, whether it's you, your trunks, your dog, your paddleboard, your canoe, whatever, just make sure that you clean it. Check means make sure there are no little pieces of green leaf or whatever and then dry it before you go into one of the really nice lakes that hopefully you won't be taking the plant with you. This lake has survived unspoilt for thousands of years. One busy summer would be a sad way for that to end. Katrina Vitozzi, Sky News in the Lake District.